good morning good morning good morning and happy friday guess what we did it again god did it again he allowed us to see the end of another week oh my goodness this is a day that the lord has made we're rejoicing and we're glad in you know i'm gg come on and get your walk on with me this morning at least a thousand steps oh my goodness you probably noticed something <laughs> I got on a jacket this morning. Now, I may have to take it off before I finish getting my 10,000 steps. But right now, it's a chill in the air. Oh, my goodness. In August, y'all. In August. It's feeling good out here this morning. You know, the weather's getting ready to change. But what's so unusual, this is August, y'all. Usually the hottest uh, month in the year here in Virginia. But I ain't complaining. Oh, it feels good out here this morning. And you know, it's Friday. And I got to give my praise nugget this Friday. Oh, I got a good one for y'all today. Try laughter and call me in the morning. <laughs> Try laughter and call me in the morning. I got two verses here. The first one from Proverbs 17:22. A merry heart doeth good like medicine, but a broken heart dries the bones. Oh my goodness, a broken spirit actually dries the bones. And then Psalm 30 and 5 says, Weeping may endure for a night, but guess what? Joy mm, comes in the morning. But you know, you need to try laughter sometime. It's just like medicine. You know, when I come out here and I encourage you to walk, and you know, I've talked about the many benefits of walking. But guess what? There's benefits in laughing. You know what? Because study after study has been done. And you know, when you laugh, and this is true, you release something called endorphins. Endorphins. And what endorphins do, it has been found that it has helped in lowering your blood pressure, <laughs> strengthens your immune system, even burns some calories, and most of all, it makes you happy. It makes you happy. It's something about laughter and uh, the studies have shown it you know i was um watching good morning america this week and this young man about in his 40s he found out that he had liver cancer and the way he was discovered though was he has a smile like michael strahan michael strahan is a football player that has a gap in the middle of his teeth <laughs> but the gentleman he was 40 years old and he discovered that he had um, liver cancer and he needed a liver transplant. And what was so crazy about it is that he was an MET and he was the person that delivered organs, um, you know, for people to have transplants. And then he found out that he needed one. But within the three years that he was waiting for his transplant, even his co-workers, was talking about his attitude. He never let his joy fall or whatever. And they they credit him to his, um, even during his wait for his liver after, and his daughter um, uh, took care of him and so forth. And of course they gave them a trip to Disneyland, you know, the place where you're really gonna laugh. But I, I was just thinking about that. You know, the benefits of just laughing, just joy. You know what? <laughs> I think people think that Jesus was, you know, all dry and stuck up and <laughs> preacher walking around and, and so forth. But I know that Jesus was in the flesh a man of joy. You know why I know he was a man of joy? Because you always found Jesus around um, happy events, happy events, like dinner parties and weddings. He did his first miracle 
at a wedding. It wasn't a funeral, y'all. It was a wedding, you know. And when the, when everything was going good until the wine ran out. And when the wine ran out and he turned the water to wine, guess what? The party was on again. Okay, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Just because y'all can't laugh. Y'all can't smile. I know it. Jesus, he didn't miss a good dinner party. Even when he was invited to the party with the sinners and public. Oh, they didn't want him to go there. But Jesus said, I'm going well, I'm going to have me a good time. And one of those dinner parties, he told his greatest uh, parables. Parables of the lost sheep, the lost uh, corn and the prodigal son. Oh, I know he liked to go and, and eat and pass him by going to Mary and Martha's house. You know, when you get around people and start eating and stuff, you know, that's a good time. That's a good time. And you know what? I thought about something else, y'all. I thought about something else. When they were out there and Jesus had toured on the mountain and they was hungry. And y'all know the miracle. Turn the fish I mean, turned uh, the, uh, the bread and the fish and fed 5,000. Oh, my God. Y'all know that was a big old giant party, y'all. But I believe Jesus loved to have a good time because it's something about joy. It's something about joy. I put a, a story up this morning, and I found a sound bite of this baby laughing. Oh my goodness, I've been laughing all morning. And that that baby laughing has lifted me up. I hope you see my story this morning because you ain't gonna help from laughing because it's contagious, y'all. It's contagious, but it's like medicine. It's like medicine. You know, I'm thinking about my good friend, Mr. Steve Alexander. I wrote a play called The Last Laugh. And he's the star of that play. And he has performed locally and nationally. And I have never seen that man uh, not being joyful. Although there are some things that have happened in his life personally that should have made him cry. Uh, like losing his dear uh, wife, like his mother in rehab. But you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree because his mother's just as joyful. Oh my goodness. He puts posts up there sometimes and she can crack you up as well. I remember I was going to do a podcast with him some years ago and COVID, right before we were supposed to do the podcast, he came down with COVID. And I didn't know it by the time that he did the podcast because um, when he did the podcast, he said, you know, I had COVID. And I got up one morning and I was standing in a pool of sweat. And as a result, I lost so much weight. But you know what? I know that laughter has taken Brother Steve Alexander through. It's like medicine. You know, sometimes my husband don't understand why I like to look at funny shows and comedians because you hear a whole lot of crazy stuff anyway that really want to make you cry or make you angry. But I like to watch some shows that make me laugh. I feel good like when you laugh. You know, it ain't nothing like a good belly washing <laughs> laugh. And it releases those chemicals physically that makes you feel good. That's why that scripture said that weeping may endure for a night, but when that joy come in and when you start laughing, I tell you, it makes you feel good all over. It has spiritual and it has physical um, healing in it and laughter. I dare you to try it sometime. I dare you to try it sometime or even listen to somebody that laughs. You know what I want to say right here? Vice President Kamala Harris, if she has not done anything else, she has brought joy and laughter to the atmosphere. You know, I think back when President 
Joe Biden was first elected. And I keep seeing her and hearing it in her voice. You did it, Joe. You did it, Joe. And despite everything that they throw at her, she still smiles and she still laughs and it's gotten contagious and it's just affected the whole country. Win or lose, uh, Kamala Harris has brought joy. Why don't you try laughter? Why don't you make it contagious and bring the joy? It not only make everybody else feel good, but it'll make you feel better too. It might even help you with some physical stuff that's going on with you. That's what I'm saying. Try laughter and call me in the morning. Oh my goodness. Well, y'all have a blessed weekend. Looking forward to a great weekend. If you uh, Sunday, I always invite you Sunday. Come and visit us at Grace and Twine Ministries. 3923 Deep Creek Boulevard in the city of Portsmouth. Oh yeah, you're going to get a good laugh. You're going to get some joy. And most of all, there's love at the gym. You will find real love at the gym. You ain't going to find no sadness. You ain't going to find no craziness. But you're going to find joy. You're going to find peace. And you're going to find real love, most of all, the love of Christ at the gym. 10 a.m. Join us, join us, join us. Oh my goodness. And tomorrow, how would Jesus invest? I'm coming with some um, information. Back to school back to school financial tips on this coming Saturday. A lot of our children getting ready to go to school. We got them going different times. Some of our kids going back Monday. Some of our kids going back the next week. Some of our kids going back in September. It's a time for me to share some financial tips, even although I'm retired. But I think about still got a grandson and we're thinking about things for him, not just for back to school, for even going to college uh, later on. So uh, join me tomorrow uh, for those tips. You know, yesterday, this was a reminder, um, me and uh, my walking buddy, and I'm going to join up with her later, uh, Claudia. Uh, we uh, went to the Cheesecake Factory yesterday. And near the Cheesecake Factory, another place that I haven't been to is the Funny Bones restaurant. I've heard so many people talk about Funny Bones and comedians and things come there. Because, you know, sometimes you just need a good laugh. I told you it's like medicine. So maybe in the future, uh, Pastor and I might have to go to Funny Bones. Funny Bones. All right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, y'all have a great weekend, but try laughter. Call me in the morning. <laughs> have a great week weekend, a great Friday. Bye.